question that involves actually the whole world, and, and uh, that is flavors. How can availability of different choices of flavors in e and snus, for example, contribute to more people managing to quit smoking? So one, one of the issues is that smoking tobacco, that has been the most sort of dependency forming way of using nicotine. Uh, when people switch to um, vaping uh, and heat not burner, heat not burner is a good example because it is weaker. It's weaker and I've just been to Japan and for people switching over from smoking, some people find it's the heat not burn is not as good. So one of the users said to us that what he did, he switched to a mint flavored heat stick. He didn't use to smoke menthol. He switched to mint and that helped and kind of compensated a bit for the weakness of the new product. So it's the flavor adds another uh, aspect to the more aspects you have, the opening the packet, you know, the the hand to mouth movements, mm. the sensory aspects, and, and the, the flavour, it adds. And your scent, I guess. Yes, the smell and the, the taste. It adds to the experience, and if something has less experience, less reward is weaker than smoking yeah. tobacco. It's important to help people switching over that. The flavor is incredibly important. I'm totally against banning the flavors. Right. In tobacco, uh, in, in this heat, of, heat not burns, snus or vaping, that would be another thing that would undermine the success of people switching over. Uh, the, the success rate would most definitely be affected, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, if we only, we are modern people and we are normally uh, used to having a variety of everything.